Jonathan here with Great Buy Electronics and today I'm doing a video on how to inspect a used MacBook Pro before buying it. First thing you want to look at is the physical condition. I close it and make sure the hinges aren't loose. Check all the ports, make sure there's no crumbs in there. I also like testing everything so I bring a USB and FireWire with. You want to make sure there's no big dents on the top. If a dent is big enough it can actually affect the LCD. Check the bottom, make sure it's not in too bad of condition. You also want to take a look at the serial number and make sure it matches up with the system serial number. If not, you probably have a computer that's been worked on, which makes me nervous usually. Next thing you want to do is check the computer's specs. So here we have a 2.53 gigahertz with 4 gigs of RAM. You want to go to system report then. I always like checking the power. See how many battery cycles are on the computer. And make sure it's in normal condition. If you buy a computer through Great Buy Electronics, we do all these tests for you and a lot more. So you don't have to worry about anything going wrong with your computer. I then like checking photo booth, making sure the webcam works. which this one does. You want to make sure the sound works. I'm going to open up YouTube and make sure videos can play properly. Playing videos is an important thing to do because if your computer has a graphics card issue, you'll notice it then. I like to sometimes play a video and open up photo booth simultaneously. The goal is to put the GPU under some stress to see if any artifacts appear. If you do see any artifacts like lines going down the screen, do not buy that computer. A GPU reball costs about $200. You always want to restart the computer then. If you have any GPU issues, you'll notice them here too. I've had countless computers that are able to work perfectly fine until you try restarting them. Then you'll notice artifacts appearing on the screen. You also want to make sure all the keys work, so I like going into Notepad or Word and just using every key because a lot of the time one or two keys won't work properly, which is a whole replace keyboard that can cost up to two, three hundred dollars. When the computer is starting up like this, it's a good time to look for dead pixels or scratches on the screen, so just inspect the screen thoroughly. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or additional things to check for, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please take a second to like it and subscribe. We're constantly coming up with new how-to videos and tech review videos for Apple and Android. If you have any Apple or Android device for sale, please go to greatbuyelectronics.com. We produce a fast and easy way to sell your used electronics. Thanks for watching.